M0 FXB Bofeng DM32. Let's add my DMR hotspot. First thing we'll do is go to VFO mode. So using this button here, you can go A and B. So you see the arrow go up and down. So on the A band, we're going to hold it down. That's memory mode, but we're going to hold again. There you are. We're now in VFO mode. Type in the frequency of my hotspot, which is 431550. Okay, now we need to get into digital mode and then we need to create a DMR contact. So to go into digital mode, press the OK button and go down to settings, uh, channel set, and then just go down to channel type, select and look digital. So we're already in digital mode. When you're in digital mode, you can go, you get the the DMR settings. See the way it says talk group there? Select and you can look at your contacts list. Contacts are your talk groups that you want to transmit on. But we're going to put in new contact like so. And at the moment at the top here it says talk group which is the right one. But if you press the hash it changes to private. We don't want private. We want normal talk groups. We'll click OK. Um, Oh, we haven't put the number in yet. So normal talk groups, let's do 2353. Three. That's a talk, that's, that's called chat three. So select and then we can name it. So A, B, C, and you can change the characters. If you press the hash, it changes from letters to numbers and capitals. C, H, then A, then T. Then if we press the hash again, you want the one that shows numbers here. Let's just see if that's it. Oh, my eyesight is so bad, I can't really see. And then we'll choose three and go enter. So we've named it and it saves. I've, I've saved a few anyway. So then we'll go back. And look, you can manual dial. Let's have a look at this CSV context. I haven't loaded any on. Let's see if there's any in there. No, but I will have a go at that. And talker alias is very handy. If you turn that on, especially on receive... Do it so alias first, and that way, if people are transmitting their details, it will show up on screen. So, okay, we're getting there. So now we're going to go back into menu, menu, settings, channel set. We can set the power if we want, and I'm going back with the green button, look. So middle power is fine. The TX contact, we can now select one now. I like to select worldwide, but there's chat three that we just created. We're going to select, and it remembers that as well. Color code, select. I use color code one on my hotspot. It could be different on a repeater. Time slot there, select two on my hotspot I use. Now, on a, even on a repeater, you can choose DMR ID. You need that, otherwise no one's going to hear you. And yes, you do need a ham license for that. And if we select, select, and if I go select again, you might not have put yours in. Edit, and there it is there. Okay, 2341437 is mine. And then save, of course. And you can have more than one person. Go back. Channel type, we did that. Digital. Double slot, ignore that. Group list. I always put things in a group list because I find it just works better if I do. So put it into a group list. Uh, we don't need that. Shift direction, it's not a repeater. But if it was a repeater, you could do a shift. And then the frequency offset amount, so when it shifts, how much it shifts. APRS receive. I'm going to turn that on. Why not? Oops, gone too far there. Come back. Menu, go back into set. Sorry, I just mucked up there, like so. So then we go menu, settings, channel set. Pretty sure we've got everything in there now. So in theory, now it's going to work now. Let me plug in my hotspot, which I've got here in the background. Okay, it's working fine. And there's my hotspot in the background. It'd be nice to change those colours. It's a bit dark, isn't it? But the information is there. 
My name is Zhang. Juliet Alpha November Gold. Zhang is my name. My cute is a. So you can see that works. Now let's see if it will allow us to save it. So I think to save you need to be in memory mode. Now the thing is in memory mode it will come out of this but let's try it anyway. And I can always make another video about saving memory channels. So we'll go um, hold down. So we're in, oh that's on the A band, on the B band. Let's go to the A band. Hold down. And channel two, let's go to menu, settings, channel set, receive. So yeah, it looks like in, if you want to save the channel, you do it in memory mode. So you go four, three, one, then five, five, zero. Okay, that's received. TX is the same. Four, three, one. It's funny how it's different, but that's the way it works, you know. Power, so exactly the same. Contact, we got choose a contact. We'll do Hubnet this time, shall we? Color code, yeah, let's remember that. Slot two, DMR ID, it's still me. That's fine. And go back. Channel type, digital, yep. Channel name. Okay, we can change that to hotspot. So we go. Uh, where's the O? Okay, that'll do. Saved. Okay, now we remember that. Let's get back out because I noticed there's a new channel there. Let's go to remember it was channel two. Three. Two. Oh no, it's got it. That's good, isn't it? Now it's pat far up my hotspot. Right, it's coming in. Now why are we not hearing it? Could be because remember we did it for Hubnet, didn't we? So we might have to be on uh, talk group 91 to hear that. There you go, as soon as I change it to talk group 91. There it is there. So yeah, all fun. I, will, I, I want to test something else as well. If I turn off my hotspot, I noticed that there was a setting there for APRS receive. So if we just quickly go to back to VFO a minute. Holding it down, 144. And then we'll do analog. Oops, wrong one, wrong one. Um, analog, so we go menu, settings, channel set. Channel type, analog, which is there. We should start here in the packets. And then let's go, I noticed a setting called APRS receive. Now let's see if it's in here. No, where did I see that? I definitely saw APRS receive. Mm, maybe it's only in digital. So if I just change it to digital, and you could set a shortcut button for this, for digital. Settings, channel set, quickly go to digital. And now go menu, and look, the APRS settings are there. So it's definitely a APRS um on dmr but i got a feeling it's receive as well and that alone is a good thing um because a lot of dmr radios don't do it on receive um and i, I know I saw, I saw a thing in there where you can actually see the digital transmissions so yeah thanks for watching bye for now